Well, how's it going, everyone? Hopefully you're uh, getting ready for this Halloween season like I am. I'm super excited, everybody. Well, here we are, Amazon, uh, the Amazonian maze, to be exact. And we're out here trying to get, um, you know, specifically a mission to go after some of these cyber piranhas, I do believe, anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and track the mission. We're going to be catching some electric eels. We need to catch five electric eels in the Amazonian maze to get the electrical leader, which we can then use to go get some cyber piranhas, I assume, anyway. I know there's a mega piranha, but I think this one's the cyber piranha. Anywho, as you can see, we just left the boat dock. We got our boat here. We're going to be traveling out to a spot where I have caught a unique electric eel in the past. Um, I can't show you because I'm on my boat, but one of these green markers on the map here is the uh, spot that we're heading to. <laughs> so, anyway, if you're excited for this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, pack your tackle boxes, and let's get into it, everyone. Well. Here we are. This is actually a spot that I've caught Arapaima at as well. If you saw the uh, River Monsters episode with the Arapaima, this is the same exact spot. It's a nice little rock here. And uh, back there, in that little area over there, ooh, I've just met my my first issue I'm going to have. <laughs> I can't reach it. I can't reach it with one of these rods. Hopefully, hopefully one of these rods can reach it. Oh, no. Oh, no. We might have an issue here. We can't reach exactly all the way to the back. Well, I do have heavier rods, too. We do have the uh, Spell Launcher 11 foot 5 with us as well. I'm not sure if one of those could reach that spot way back there. Otherwise, I'm not sure. It can reach it all the way over there. Okay. Okay. Well, who knows? I'm assuming if we don't, if we're a little short of that spot, hopefully it'll still work out. Um, guess we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> this will be interesting. But, to give you a little bit of heads up on what I'm using, the electric eel, I've got a, a unique one. It was like 22 pounds or something like that, so I I think I'm pretty well set. This is a 27 and a half pound one here. It's just one of the Halloween rods, but I do have the Brutus 9 foot 10s with me as well. 35 pounds there. Uh, I tried to get, I just have some random reels on here that allow me to have max drag, though. I do believe, yeah, with the, uh, with the leader, we're not going to be able to get that. Um, and then we just have large minnows with a six-odd hook on one. I got a four-odd hook on the other two, just because we don't need to catch a unique electric eel. We just need to catch an electric eel. So, uh, yeah, we're going to toss these all out, put them in the uh, rod holder here, and we'll just see what we can manage, I suppose. See if we can catch ourselves an eel, or if we'll get hooked into an arapaima and regret using these light rods. <laughs> that will be interesting, too. <gasps> Do you see it? Do you see the electric current, though? Okay, I was going to wait until we saw this. It's a lot easier to see at nighttime, but uh, the electric eels have a tell. Um, if you uh, go around and you see current, uh, electrical current, I'm not talking about the current of the water, <laughs> um, you can, that, that is the tell that there's electric eel in that area. We just saw a bunch of electrical, uh, you know, uh, bolts, whatever you want to call them, going around there. So, hopefully, hopefully if we get all these rods out here, I might even throw one of the match rods out into the exact spot, but we will see if we can nab ourselves an electric eel over here, because uh, if we get into an arapaima, that will not be fun on these rods. Uh, no siree. No siree, Bob. Oh, there goes one of them, though. There goes one of them. Do we dare throw one out? I'm going to throw it right on top of that. Right on top of that meter, or that pylon over there. We'll put this in the uh, rod holder and see what we have on this rod here. Oh, it is uh, smaller, but that could mean that we have like a piranha on there as well, you know. There are lots of fish in the Amazon, and it could mean that we don't have an electric eel on here. I didn't see a lot of eel splashing. Yep, that's what we uh, should expect to see a lot of. Red eye piranha here. See that electrical current a little bit better there. I am using all of my uh, Halloween bobbers that I have. The pumpkin one, our jack-o'-lantern skull. I got an orange and black one. And then we just have a waggler on this one. But 
Yep, red eye piranha. The dogs are helping me make the video. That's helpful. Wow, a bakuda. Well, that's a fish I don't think I've caught over here. That's interesting. Oh, okay. There we go. That's what I was looking for. You see the splashes? Look at look at the wake he's creating, and then we'll see if he splashes here soon without losing tension on him. Oh, he even had his tail come up out of the water. So when the eel splashes, you can see there are multiple waves all around him. Um, even if they're not big, they create this huge wake. It's pretty insane, honestly. Should be our first eel, even though it's not nighttime. We were wondering if we'd ever get one. But let's see what we got here. Well, luckily, he nails not affected by electricity. But look at that, it's a 34-pounder. Holy crap. <laughs> well, nice. Oh, what do you think there, Hinel? First electric eel of five. We got we got quite a few more to catch, bud. That's a good start. That's a real good start. Twelve thousand bucks too. Twelve thousand and nine thousand XP. It's pretty insane. It's pretty pretty insane for a thirty-four pound fish. Golly, dude. Okay, finally night time. Luckily, we didn't have to change the time because it, we're we're immediately fishing in the the best time of the night anyway. So. We lucked out in that way, but thing is, we don't know if this night is the best night to be fishing for them, so even though it's nighttime now, it still might not be catching uh, the fish we want. <laughs> but getting some beeps already. Ooh, decent fish on there, whatever it is. Ooh, I think that might be a good sign, everybody. That is a lot of current there being moved around. Watch it be a little baby. Arapaima or something like that. Just completely mess with us. And I'm pretty sure this is Neil. I don't think we would be able to reel in a baby Arapaima like this. He's not splashing like the eels, you know, you'll catch in other places, Gantunuzu Canal, stuff like that. Usually they have multiple splashes all around them, whereas these ones just seem to be making big splashes. We got him on his last bit there, and that's gonna be our second one. Top notch, a little 19 pound electric eel. That'll do it. I like all the little dots on him. Pretty cool fish. Yeah, nighttime, those uh, those electric currents really show up pretty well. <laughs> Ooh, I think we might have hooked up on our third one. It's getting uh, it's getting to be one of those things where like I, I've stopped recording uh, a while back. Actually, I stopped recording every uh, every rod that I picked up because I kept catching all the. Freaking catfish and the silver croakers and the bakudas and the piranhas, both the red eye and the red belly or whatever. Oh, but it is nice to catch one of these electric eels since that's what we're actually going for. Oh, he's getting put up a little bit of a fight here at the last six feet or so. Nice. There's number three trophy electric eel there. Nice. Okay, I've been sitting here for a little bit longer. I think it's about time we just get into the boat. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Get back out, go to shore, and I'm gonna skip straight to the next night, honestly, because the next night is the exact same. We made 28,000, we weren't even trying. At least that pays for uh, some of it anyway, some of this experimentation. Well, I think we may have our fourth one on here. If it's not, it's just a good size. Oh yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I haven't seen it create any wake yet, but I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, it's just a really good sized fish. <laughs> but I think we got our fourth eel on here. Good deal. You know, there are certainly times where I wonder if uh, bringing this rod was a mistake, but um, yeah, it seems to be holding its own. I, I'm sure I could have used the other rods and it would have been a lot easier, but I saw the Halloween rod. It's got. Freaking bones for a handle. I mean, come on. You can't you can't turn down using that during a Halloween video. You have to use it whenever you can. Alright, hey, there's number four coming at us to freaking shock the heck out of us. Right on. Got our fourth electrical eel. I keep saying electrical because I keep reading it right there in electrical leader, but it's electric eel. <laughs> Nearly 6,000 XP though, that's kinda cool. That thing just like, I thought the line was gonna break for a second. That is as red as you can get without breaking. We're gonna have this dude uh, beeping the entire time, but surely whatever we have on here is pretty decent. Last little bit here, I don't think he's gonna be unique. Yeah, not even. That's hilarious. Well, top notch everyone, there's all five of them. Five electric eels that we needed to create the electrical leader. Um, <laughs> does that mean that we're, uh, 
We're killing these dudes and making a, a leader out of them. <laughs> That's interesting. There it is, though. The South America Electrical Leader. Great work. You've got the Electrical Leader and are now ready to hunt for the Cyber Piranha. There we go. Top notch, everyone. Well, this is going to be a fun one. I'm excited for it. Um, got the Electrical Leader. I have no idea what else we're going to need. You'd think the Piranha... I don't, I'll have to check the leaderboard because I don't even know how big these guys get. Um, but there it is. Top notch. And yeah, top notch. Top notch, top notch, top notch. Well, there we go, everyone. Uh, I think this is going to do it for this one, obviously. If you need uh, any more help, then I guess comment down below or something like that. If you've got another good electrical eel spot, maybe put some coordinates down for someone else to try. Otherwise, all it took was a little bit of patience and, uh, yeah, and catching all these guys. But it seemed like they kind of went for all sorts of different stuff. They went for uh, Shiners, Amazonian Sardines. We got we got the one unique we caught on the Bandit Raku. So uh, yeah, throw out some different stuff. See what uh, see what they go for, and uh, yeah, cross your fingers and be patient. I suppose I was just watching videos on my phone the entire time. So anyway, hopefully you're excited for the Halloween season. I am very excited to get after these uh, Cyber Piranha for our first Monster Fish mission gonna be a lot of fun so i hope you're looking forward to it if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh get ready for the halloween extravaganza 2022 everyone's gonna be a blast cannot wait um to get into it so until then check us out on our live streams every monday wednesday 7 30 to 9 30 p.m central and we'll see you in the next episode everyone take care and as always remember we're one planet one family Game on.